Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Sketch Pro. Um, my name is Des, and I'm basically doing a quick video review and tutorial about Easy Sketch Pro and how you can use it as a whiteboard animation solution. Now, as some of you may know, if you were to pay a professional service to do this, the prices are quite ridiculous. They can go up to thousands and thousands of dollars per minute. Now, Paul and his team at Inner Circle Niches have created a solution for this, and I've been using it for the last, I'd say, three, three, three months or so, and I've been amazed. And the great thing is they, they're constantly updating the software. Um, there are other video solutions out there. Um, some of you may know about Sparkle Video Scribe. Uh, Sparkle is great, don't get me wrong. I love them. I used to use them, but the price difference in, this, in these two solutions are amazing. Uh, so... Um, I'll just show you here, Sparkle Video Scribe, you can see that basically they have a monthly subscription, a yearly subscription, and a one-off. And the one-off lifetime license goes as high as 665, whereas the Inner Circle Niches solution is a fraction of that. And like I said, they're continuously updating it. So I just want to show you now how to use the software. So basically, there are a lot of different things you can use in here. Um, you can record your voice if you want to do that, and basically, it'll have your voice as a back backup over the over the um, over the video. Or you can also use the audio that they they give you. Now, sorry, my library would have changed around there. Um, they give you a few, quite a few different audio solutions that you can use, and of course, you can always upload your own as you, as you see fit. And they even show you some places where you can get royalty free audio and um, in here you can see the library they have they like I said um, previously they're continuously updating the software and with that they're also continuously updating the library um, Paul and his team um, get together every Friday uh, and basically he sends out he sends out tasks for the for the team to update the library based on our requests so we email him on different niches that we like so for instance if we wanted, um, if we wanted more images in the builder niche, he would tell his team to go go into the builder niche and find some find some uh, useful images to draw, and they would upload these SVG images into here, into the library, and they do that quite often. When I started off, this this list was quite short, um, but I got in when they launched the product. But now, as you can see, it's continuously growing and growing. It's going to be growing for the foreseeable future. Uh, so now I'll just give you a quick and dirty rundown on how to use the software. Basically, you can add your add your text here. Hi, welcome to my YouTube video. And then, yep, you can change the color. You can do all that fun stuff. You can have a look here. I like blue. Okay, and change the text, whatever you want it to be. Um, let's call this one pink, because I'm fancy. And, sorry, maybe I'm going to make this a bit smaller. So basically what you do is, you don't have to worry about the font size because you can just resize it like that. And then what you do is, you move it to where you want it to be. And of course you can rotate it and all that other fun stuff. Just one of the things you have to make sure you do is when you do that, make sure you fix the camera and that'll set the screen. Now the image will only be, the video render will only be in this white space. So as you, you can see, if you were to have your writing over there, you would only get this part. So make sure you, you have it exactly where you want it to be in your video based on this white screen. So again, I'm going to fix the camera and now I'm going to upload an image. Um, some of the cool stuff you can do that I, I, I really find quite handy is you can upload signs. I'll just see if I can find it. So you can add your own signs here, and basically, once you have the sign, um, 
make sure you double click on the image as you want to move it. Otherwise, if you just click once, like I did just before, it'll move everything. So if you want to edit one image, just double click on it, move it to where you need it to be. And then you can add your text again. If you want to add text on the sign, which, I, which is the thing that I really like. I'm just going to make the text small, even though you don't need to, just so I can, it'll be easier for me to scale it. So 32. Okay, and again, I want to resize that, and then you can put that there. You can do it, do with it as you like, and fix camera. Camera. So you need to fix the camera for every image that you put in, and then when you're done with that. If you want to make your new, if you want to move to the next slide, basically you just slide this off the screen. And like I said before, um, once it's off the screen, you won't see it in the video. Um, so now you can just add add new pictures as, as you see fit. So draw one. Get some people happening. This suave looking gentleman. So now, once you make the new slide, you have to right click in, press Quest Focus, and that will refocus it onto this this new slide. So then, once you do that, um, right click, fix camera, and then now, as you can see, this guy doesn't have a face, and that's not because of laziness. That's actually quite a Quite a neat thing that they've done that I I, I I find quite interesting and I like and basically you can add the faces on as as you see fit so that one guy can have the range of emotions so I'm gonna make him a bit cheeky just get the face where it needs to be resize it get it right and that looks about right and then right click, fix camera, and then let me add some more text. Pretty cool. Huh. Oops. So you got that there. And now basically you fix the camera again and yeah and now you're ready to roll one of the things that you can do is you can look at the timeline of all your all your images and it'll show you how long each slide runs for etc so i just want to give you a quick um actually what i'll do is i'll record an audio just so we can have it running with this so Hi everyone, my name is Dez and welcome to my tutorial on Easy Sketch Pro. Pretty cool, huh? That was terrible, but anyway, let's just let's just put it in there and see how it, how it goes. Hi everyone, my name is Dez and welcome to my tutorial on Easy Sketch Pro. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so keep it's added to my timeline so now if I want to play everything from the start hi everyone my name is Dez and welcome to my tutorial on easy sketch pro pretty cool huh okay as you can see the audio doesn't hi exactly match up my name is Dez and welcome to my tutorial on easy sketch pro so what it does is it keeps looping the, the audio that you have so basically you want to make sure that the slides match up exactly to how your um, how you how long your audio goes for and the way you do that is you can just come here and you can play around with how long this goes for and then apply Hi everyone, my name is 
Des, and welcome to my tutorial on Easy Sketch Pro. Pretty cool, huh? So basically, you, you just keep fiddling with it like that until Hi, you get the right, my the right audio length. Sorry, I cut myself off. So basically, you just keep fiddling with it until you get it all right. And that doesn't take a long time. I'm just, I just gave you a quick and dirty overview, like I said I was going to do. So I'm not going to bother fixing that up. But basically, you see the point. And from there, you can just render the video. And to do that, you go to Export as a Movie. And it'll record my video as I see fit. So now basically, guys, that's that's what the software does. And obviously, like I said, I didn't do it I didn't do it great justice by doing this quick video that you that you see here. But having said that, it does do a lot and it's continuously updating. So if you're interested in it, um, just click the link below in the description and you can go have a look at the software at the moment. As the time of writing this, I think it's going for around thirty nine dollars. Um, now, I mean, the price has been increasing every other month because, like I said, they're continuously updating it. And if if it was, my advice would be to get in get in early while it's cheap. I actually bought the software when they had their launch, and it, I paid around two hundred dollars for it. And I've already made my money back from from doing that, so I have no hard feelings about that. I probably saved it. A fair bit of money instead of paying monthly using uh, Sparkle Video Scribe. Uh, now, if I'm not knocking Sparkle Video Scribe, they're great, and their link is also in the description if you want to ch check them out. But um, yeah, that's basically all the software does. Uh, I'll just play the video for you. Hi everyone, my name is Des, and welcome to my tutorial on Easy Sketch Pro. Pretty cool. So that's pretty much what that is and um, anyways guys that's all I have to show you for today and if you're interested um, just hit just um, click the click the link in the description and we'll head right over okay thanks bye